Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it's Reggae and welcome to like a generic let's play video. Or who am I kidding, there's chins. But it's been ages since I've just recorded in a straight on hi guys, it's your boy YouTuber here format. I've even been doing absolutely nothing or doing actual essay pieces on how Sky are a scumbag company. Sorry for repeatedly mentioning it, but they are. Perhaps my spirits can be lifted, and certainly they can be, by what is commonly known as the Chin Collab. Shakarel Planet teams up with the Battle Cats. Now, I got no idea what that even is, but I mean, that was true when I first experienced Evangelion, guys. I thought after the Evangelion Collab, I would never be able to be satisfied by a collab again. But whereas Evangelion was serious and seriously good, this is a nice dose of humour and chins and it already looks funny and I've only seen a poster for it. So this is the collab event on now. <laughs> I, mm. Ranking stage, collab stages and some stamps which I accidentally tapped past already. And it wants my money. Well, I'm afraid not. We'll see if we get you lot in the old luckaroo. No one calls it that. Here it is then, Shakarel Planet, lovely in purple. Ooh, time score stage, you speak my language. Let us move back to slot four of materials and speed and go straight into the very extended flipping jaws of nature. Oh, I, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the last time I laughed at Battle Cats in, in just character design. I mean, I remember the survey saying like, did you do Battle Cats for the character design? Well, no, not really. I just found it kind of vaguely fun. The character design was all right, but it never enthralled me. But this, this is, I think, the some people's reaction to Battle Cats the whole way through. They have huge chins and, and that is funny. Chomping tree like in this informal style and correct use of apostrophes which is always nice to see in an official format. We've got a panda and a lion this time. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's such great fun. There's chins and it is flipping well funny. Munching rocks. Nom nom nom. Starting off with a maglev seems to work rather well. <laughs> <laughs> The brilliant thing about that is that it's the face but with such a minor sort of subtle change to it that is within the context of the collab so obvious and so funny and so brilliant. <laughs> he's a happy little chin man. Well I mean I think he's anything but happy. <laughs> he's just <laughs> normal face, normal face, normal face, <laughs> chin. <laughs> the future is <laughs> chins. Well you're on the nose there or on the chin. <laughs> <laughs> These guys, honestly, I, I, I... <laughs> They are such a motley crew of fun, honestly. I want all of these. Like, Evangelion, I was absolutely mad about getting as many units as I could. I never thought, again, that this sort of really, really wanting to get the units would continue into other collabs. But it flipping well is. This is well on track to being my second favourite collab. This level's actually a relatively challenging one for the old do it as quickly as you can, not too many meat shields or sensible strategic generalist stuff slot with its strangely long name but I think we're gonna be able to get through it all right there's pandas there's chins there's tigers there's chins there's faces there's chins and you know what there's levels and there's destruction to be had will we get the time score reward well I haven't been looking at the informational bits so I don't know if our score threshold has gone down for the top reward or if it's still very high in which case I don't think we'll be doing too well that's got to be a solid one seven thousand two hundred one two three oh yeah that many that's definitely gonna be all of the rewards and all of the levels 30 cat food and a leadership are there stars yes there are yes ponos that is what we like this money thing it pointed out at me please don't say this is pay to win i mean are we awaiting a collab gacha it's fully possible but i am intrigued in a bad way because i'm not being forced into spending money to get content you know me i don't particularly go in the Cat Claw Dojo all that often. In fact, actually, this is the first time I've been in the Cat Claw Dojo since you last saw me do it in a video, and I don't even know when that last was. But it's a collab version of it, and I want to see how we do with that. Oh, it's an energy cost. That's biting, Ponos. Better make this worth it, then. I'm going to put together a nice moneylicious slot for Dojo success.
Right, this is surely full dojo. We have, at the top, two worker cat start up combos, which are necessary because typically in the dojo, and I assume here as well, it's not going to give you any monies for defeating enemies. Then, cheap but meaningful things. We've got one meat shield, we got manic macho legs, we got island, half the solution to everything, hoorah, and we got maglev, which is just generally hitty smashy good. And then Bahama, well timed, can work very well, he says, with his eyebrows firmly raised. Even if I have both the items off, I'm going to make use of free items, but let's see what we have in this three minutes O chin. A snappy, smashy base, as we might expect, but that is one chin dealt with, and hopefully a boss wave about to be released. I probably could have looked at that a little bit better by putting out meat shield first, perhaps? Because we are taking quite a while to release the first wave, which is a Shakarel Tiger, which has, by the looks of it, a weakening effect, but Maglev deals with that quite well. Next a Shakarel lion. I feel like I'm getting my animal practice in and I do feel like soon I will probably misinterpret what an animal is. Shakarel panda! A little bit more tanky, isn't it? But with all these different units, maglev, myland, all of that sort of stuff, disintegrates into nothing. I have my water cannon still on, that's not necessarily going to be very useful. Monies are getting to the point where it might be worth getting an A Bahamut relatively soon. Wait for the base to attack one more time because I don't want Bahamut to get sniped. And that was quite inopportune with the boss wave, but Bahamut is out and hopefully help deal with this next wave so that we can move on to another one before we run out of time. Mind you, we are only roughly about halfway through it, and that is a good activating the next wave. Bahamut within the danger zone of the base, I worry, but no, it's out of it. That's good. It's going to be able to get more damage off and release another wave. Hurrah! Uh, should I just entertain the possibility of Valkyrie? Probably not. That stuff is mostly all gone. Bahamut suffers a death to the chin face instead of the base but I think his time is almost up regardless and this bit's going to be a little bit slow. Perhaps there might be a better way to do it. Let's speed up our progress through this face to the base because actually it is kind of worryingly difficult to get past him and we're going to need something a little bit faster at killing it. Right. Final boss wave I assume. A couple more Shakarel animals. I can then be dealt with. Let's get a Valkyrie out rather than trying to save a Bahama because I haven't got many seconds left. Can we get a jab at the and uh, no, okay, they were being knocked back, unfortunately, just a little bit away from death. 68,000, this could be good. I have a suspicion it's not, but let's see where it places us so far. Late game player, a few hours in, can't even get to the top rank. We need to keep working on that. So slightly new philosophy with the strat design. I've taken away one of the worker cat start level up combos because we didn't have much of an issue with cash, I don't think. So I've swapped in sister act instead for more damage. For that reason, got rid of Bahamut to make space for Fishman so that we don't have quite as much expense. Though it being a more regular expense, maybe it will work out similarly. Dunno. But with spamming the bottom row, I think it will be relatively simplistic and hopefully better especially for where we got stalled against the face later on. But these are only the ideas. Practice awaits us, and it might be an uncomfortable truth. Right, okay, so we want to get the base basically baited into having a whack at my eraser, and we can send Maglev in. And good, okay, it gets through. I was worried it would not. Let's get a fish man out and then work on Manic Island, and possibly a little bit less meat shield spamming, because although they are cheap, they are not cheap enough to be completely insignificant. We still need to have enough monies to spam the other stuff, so we're going to lay off them for a little bit and then get back onto them now. Meanwhile, making plenty of progress through destroying them, we'll get to the base for another boss wave, and it's a face this time, and hopefully that'll be more easily dealt with. Yep, that works. Immediate knockback from them. Let's get the fish men in again. Hurrah! Gone. Another boss wave. Send in Maglev for this one, and I've still forgotten to change my cannon. Well, that is going to be utterly useless, but then I guess at least there is a theoretical improvement to be had. This one's just going to be a big clump of animals, so Manic Island will help with that. Manic Macho Legs constantly waving them to hopefully get some chip damage through back units that there may be. And we have spawned up another boss wave. Right, another Maglev, just as the base whacks, so that's good. And is this the face we struggled on? I'm not sure, but we're already ready for the next boss wave. Big old clump. Hurrah! We are in the red time zone, but we can get another boss wave out. That face is gone. It's the time for another boss wave. Wasn't expecting that. Look up at the score at the top and we have done far better than we did before. 98,000.
better Grandmaster rank, but it can still be improved. I think cost efficiency actually went fine on that one, but I do want to experiment with Manic Mohawk this time. If it's strong enough to be a valuable and decent meat shield, I'm going to keep it like this because we have quicker response times and a half as expensive meat shield should help us to make a little bit more progress. Maglev, twice, three times, four times, gets a lovely little slight damage knockback that doesn't kill it, making an immediate reverberation of Attack. That's got to have helped us. I think that also might have been two boss waves at once. We've got plenty of stuff up the front. Let's keep that going, keep that face being destroyed, gradually build up our monies, but I think actually we're going to be doing better with a much cheaper meat shielding loadout of one, but half the price nonetheless. And if the base doesn't wreak absolute havoc on everything, we'll be all right. And the boss shockwave saved us. Wonderful. I've got my normal cannon on. I figured that might be the best idea for the little chinny doge peons. We have got the waves from Manic Macho Legs as well, but knocking them all back is probably helpful for activating more boss waves, which is the name of the game. Yes, another boss shot wave good, because there were plenty of enemies there. I doubted that we were going to be able to get them out, and I'm glad we did, because that's actually pushed us back away from the danger zone of the base. Got loads of fishmen out at the moment, as you can see, in one attacking clump, which is a shame. I wish they were unsynced, but at least we do have so many of them for if there's another face. Panda causing a little bit of trouble, but I'm just going to keep on meat shielding. Hopefully that'll provide brief protection. It's certainly not as long lasting as the Manic Eraser was, but I actually think with this fast paced pace of battle, we are fine to use the less strong meat shield. Come on, come on, come on. Another fish man, bit more meat shielding. Let's knock you all back, make sure we can do what we do. Maybe if that had been a little bit later, we could have clipped through onto the base. Not entirely sure, but now the focus is on trying to get this face done, because if we can, I think we'll set a new record and that would be absolutely dandy. Would love that. There we go. No, it's 98,000 again. That's going to be exactly the same. That is gutting. No. <laughs> no, it's actually slightly worse. Oh, well, at least it's different. This could end up being a very poor idea, but I've taken Manic Island out on account of the fact that it is a little bit slow and put a Bahamut back in. Maybe that will grant us a little bit more opportunity. Managed to get my worker cat to level four with a tiny little upgrade with fewer things to put out. Maybe that will put in absolute guarantee our ability to put everything out when we possibly can. Don't know if that will work to much advantage, but certainly makes the process of determining what to put out a lot easier. That's unfortunate, one little gory delaying us from getting the base there, but never mind. Let's keep pushing on. I'm going to get my Baham out. May have been a terrible decision with the base. I don't know what stage it was at relative to giving us a whack. Please, boss wave, boss wave, boss wave. And I think we might be out of the range. We are out of the range O'Dange, if you forgive my missing of the letter R. That's a nice little rhyme. Okay, next boss wave to be dealt with. Surely with a minute left, we can best how we did before, especially if... Okay, maybe not then. Oof! This has really, really disadvantaged us this stage here. We have no chance of improving at the moment. Even worse, it's still going on. I would have thought that it would have the courtesy to just not be a problem anymore during me explaining it was a problem. Things usually contradict what I'm saying, but now it's perfectly in line with it. That is dreadful. Get a move on, you lot. We have no chance of improving. Right, two final ideas that I'm going to trial. One, we can put Manic Eraser back in because the cost efficiency was so good. Two, Abahama as early as I possibly can, and then we're going to get a chance for a second one later on in the battle. Right, go. Give it a big whack. It's unfortunate that Bahama had to do it. Got a little bit of wasted time there. All for this Bahama. I'm not sure if the extra effort in trying to get it out early will benefit us. I'm glad it got a hit in there because the pan caught it out last time I believe and that caused us huge amounts of problems this time <laughs> flipping sake oh no 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 two tiny little things come on really delaying us not good not good next thing please no next thing please oh that is really bad really bad come on come on come on come on exorbitantly bad where are you honestly we are into the red time already and our score is not reflecting anything even slightly good. Let's keep these pandas back so Bahamut can get a shot and hopefully just dispose of them completely because they are strong but they shouldn't be that strong that they ruin our chances which they seem to have been doing so far. 10 seconds left and we haven't even got to the stage we were at. I'm sorry but I think that says it all. Right, well you're not taking me through the menu. 
venues. We know where we stand there. We almost got to 100,000. And I will take that. Let me know what I could have improved if you like, but I'm not particularly interested in improving my score. I'm fairly happy that I tried my best to get to six figures. We just unfortunately didn't get there. In any case, that, so far, is what we've got. I enjoyed especially the fact there were more star stages for the first bit, then proceeded to not do them, but it'd be very good for getting energy and continuing with the collab fun. I await to see what actually happens with getting those units other than the stamp one. If it is paid, I will not be doing it. But that is a fun little collab so far. Very enjoyable indeed, and I hope it's been enjoyable for you too. And on that note, I will bid you goodbye and say, I hope you enjoyed.